Ahab was a Horite, which was coming from the Gentile nation. So she here is a Gentile under a Jewish king. She must have been beautiful for him to go get a Gentile. And sometimes mothers, not all the time, but a lot of time they're beautiful. I watched mine this morning. My mother of my children, not my baby mama, is a big difference. All right, all right, all right, bro. All right, bro. I thought I'd throw that out there because I hear it a lot. Baby mama. No, she the mother of my children. Because I, I know some baby mamas. You know the difference between a baby mama and the mothers of your children? See, a baby mama will drop your baby off with just a two little shirt and a pamper. A baby mama will make sure that her hair and her nails together and have all the things she want and her baby looking toe from the floor up. A baby mama fix her children some noodle chicken flavor, my with a little wieners on the side while she out eating steak and shrimp at many house. See, a baby mama drop her kids off on Saturday night while she can go to Red Rooster, the hole in the wall. See, I'm just trying to tell you the difference between a mother of your children and a, and a baby mama. See, a mother of your children sometimes, she'll stay home even when she want to go out. A baby, see, a mother of your children, she leaves something less than desire to be looked at. She cover herself. You understand? She a woman in the street. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hang on. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes a mother will go without eating. Just because her children need to eat. And you know she's hungry because you hear her stomach growling. And she's trying to tighten up the belt, but, but she'll feed her children before she feed herself. I'm trying to tell you, the mother of your children versus your baby mama. That ain't the lesson, but I thought I'd drop that in and on you. So here we are, as I press along these points. First of all, I want to talk about Rich Paul devotion as a mother. Here, Rich Paul took sackcloth and spread it on a rock. Uh -huh. Now sackcloth was used for two things. First of all, sackcloth was used for mourning, but it also was used for covering. Uh -huh. And so she's using this coarse fine, this, this garment to mourn, but also uh -huh. to cover herself from the elements that she's in. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna come to tell you this, sometimes mothers gotta take you to make things stretch. Sometimes she got to make some things work. I don't know about you, but I know my mama, she could take a little bit of beans, a little bit of meal, and make a whole meal. Sometimes she take things that don't even match and make some things come to fruition. I'm just telling you what a mama can do. And you see here, Rez Paul takes sackcloth while she fighting for her children She's still mourning. Not only is she watching her children, but she watching Saul's other children. See, a mother, real mother, maternal love will extend past her children because she has love for children in general. It don't matter who kid you are. She'll whoop you the same. I'm talking about a real mom. She will whoop you and then get a Kleenex nap and wipe your eyes. Here, wrist Paul. Is using this sackcloth. And sometimes she just said she laid it upon a rock. And we know that sackcloth and rock are, are uncomfortable. Uh -huh. It's not in the, 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 the element in which she had wanted to be in. 
And I come to tell you there are going to be some things that you encounter in your life that are going to be hard. There are going to be some things that are going to leave you bruised, banged up, irritate you, and plain get on your nerves. There are going to be some things that are going to try to take you out of your comfort zone. There are going to be some things that you encounter on this walk that are going to have you discombobulated. But I come to tell you that being a mother is not easy, but it is rewarding. Here, instead of wearing fine clothes, she's wearing sackcloth. And anybody know, have wore sackcloth any time in their life? How many of you been to those, uh, what you call those, those races where you, where you put sack races? Sackcloth. Anybody know about sackcloth? Know that it irritates you. Instead of wearing fine linen, she's wearing sackcloth. And instead of sleeping in a, a silly postopedic in the palace, she's sleeping on a rock. A mother has to put some things on hold to see about things that matter most in her life. And a lot of times I come to tell you, a mother will put some things on hold in her life to make sure that her child has exactly what he needs. Her love for her sons caused her to identify with them in their suffering and their embarrassment with these boys. She did not reject them. She did not walk away. But what she did, she stood right by their side. Even though they were executed like criminals, he still stood by their side. A mother has unconditional love. That's why Jesus said, for God so loved the word that he gave his own. And the mother would give her own. She so love out of the abundance. That's why they say that a mother's love is like Jesus. That she still loved them even though she didn't approve what they were doing. Sometimes she don't approve what they are going through. Sometimes she don't approve what they are wearing. But she still has love from them. Even though when you don't understand your children. When it seems like they're not raised by you. She still loves them. Not only did she have a devotion of the mother, but she demonstrated as a mother here in the beginning of harvest until the rain fell upon the heavens, said she stood for five months. She didn't have no defenses. She didn't have no places of comfort, but she stood by her children. And I'm telling you right now, mothers stand behind even though when daddy walk out. Mother still stands. When it seems like she don't understand what's all going on, she's still there. Sometimes she got to burn the midnight oil. Sometimes she got to work two and three jobs just to make ends meet. But she's still there because she's demonstrating her love for her family. And not only did she demonstrate in the face of risk, but she also demonstrated in the face of ridicule. Yes, Even though her sons were mistreated, she still stuck with them by their side. Now, I'm going to drop yeah. this in on. Don't mistreat a mother, my child. Not in this day and age. Y'all seen Cedric the Entertainer, right? Their wish factor. I wish you would. Mess with my child. I will come up one side and go down the other. I will give you a piece of my mind. I don't care if I don't have none left. That's a mother. But her actions allowed her to stand in times of adversity. She was moved by grief. She was moved by affection. She was moved by agony. She was moved by suffering. She stood there in, in an attempt to protect her sons from the cross. It was six months that God hadn't changed the situation. But he changed her mindset while in the situation. I come to tell you today, sometimes God don't change everything like you want him to change it. But sometimes he'll change your outlook. Sometimes you're going through your storm right now, but God will change your outlook in your storm. Yeah. 
Because you know that, God, you brought it through me yesterday. I know that you can bring it through it today. God, I know that you brought me through last year. I know you can bring it to me this year. God, all I got to do is tie down and hold on because I know that my change is coming. I know that you're going to not forget about me because you told me that if I ask, that I shall receive. Father God, you told me that you'd never leave me nor would you ever forsake me. Even though sometimes I can't see my way through, God, you're still there because you're walking alongside of me. You're still there. Her devotion, her demonstration, but lastly, her dedication. And I'm wrapping it up. And I'm heading back out to Paraland. She did not allow the birds of the air, nor the beasts of the field by night, to touch or desecrate the body uh -huh. of her children. Right. Yeah. Sometimes a mother has to fight even when she put her own life in danger. Yeah. Sometimes a mother has to go into the dope house yeah. and, put, and risk her personal safety and bring out her baby. Yeah. 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 Sometimes a mother has to ride up and down the streets all night long. Going up and down Belfin and South Bank. Looking for her child. Because she cares for her children. Because the birds of the air and the beasts of the field are just like Satan. He's going up and coming down seeking whom he may devour. And sometime a mother has to stand in the gap for her children. Because she knows that the Satan is trying to take them out. And I come to tell you today that personal dedication requires a primary decision. You must be committed and dedicated in this life when it comes to a primary decision. If you choose to dedicate your life.